Hello friend, let's learn about how to write relative CSS selector with parent. So uh, like we have written CSS selector we were writing for this element right in the previous lecture if you remember when we were writing this so we have seen that it was forming a uh, title with title we were writing it was forming it was finding two matching node right but if we have to make it unique then we'll have to uh, do some magic here basically we'll have to uh, find out a unique parent with respect to which we will write a css selector for this element and here we are not getting some any uh, like unique attribute i won't suggest to use href attribute because uh, it has forward slash and sometimes uh, it also change value also change so avoid using such kind of uh, attribute then uh, title we have tried but it is finding more than one matching node so let's see some of any parent which looks uh, stable and uh, unique right so these elements which is the immediate parent doesn't look like uh, good because class value is pretty long so we'll check the next one which is ul yes so this looks little better than this one so we will try with this element okay to uh, write the css selector with respect to any parent so just click on that element and here if you see that so basically it is something like first we will have to write the css selector for that parent and then from that we will traverse to that child so here uh, you just add a space here and type hashtag so it will give you the id value of this one select this element and add a space after that write css selector for that element for which you want to write the css selector and now press enter so if you see that this is one element matching node so if you remember that in previous lecture we have learned that space is the uh, of space is a function in css selector which is used for descendant like for this one this element so if you add a space between them between this selector and this selector it will uh, find the selector for this particular element okay and if you you see that there's a trick like if you just press uh, delete the values you will learn that, that like, okay what all things are possible when is it's not uh, getting the wrong element like when it will be invalid css selector and if you click on this uh, here if you want to learn more uh, about CS, uh, uh, css and xpath select uh, xpath functions so you can click on this particular element uh, button link here it will take you to that page where you will learn more about css selectors and xpath functions <coughs> then uh, let's take more example about the parent element let's say we have to write in a css selector for this password field here okay so uh, open here selector sub start typing input tag name and then any of the attribute you can take let's say name we'll take here it's finding three matching node okay now we will look for the parent element any of the parent element which could be the unique one so if you see that let's try this one okay the immediate parent of this so we'll add a space here then uh, class looks like here so class is there we can try with class and add a space it is fi still finding three matching node then uh, we'll go one more up level up a space form group dot uh, sorry this one you will have to select that particular element over here to get the right drop down value from group is add a space is still three matching node then we'll go to this parent dot select this element add a space sorry dot here remove this dot press enter two elements is still matching then we'll have to go further one more level up 
to see which parent could be the unique one for this particular element so likewise we will have to keep going up and you can remove this in between values in between parents which are not unique and press enter you see that we have sorted the value and of course you can make it unique as well by looking for some element which could be the unique one and let's try for this element here now space sorry here dot group elements space add here you will have to add dot dot still two elements so likewise like you will have to keep going one level up to find out the unique elements over here and you can remove the space in between so let's try one more form area and here class looks uh, static so we'll ch check with this login area space is still to matching note so likewise we will have to traverse a lot and you can anytime in between you can remove the values and also also you can try with uh, like some other attribute by adding more attributes in that conditions so that way you would be able to write so this i showed one like where you can uh, not easy to find out the unique css selector here it takes a lot of time if you just turn on this uh, selectors up dynamic uh, automatically generating feature you will see that if you inspect this particular element like the password field this is so simple like it gives you immediately you can write the css selector this way so in place of like name if we would have used the placeholder it immediately we would have written the css selector so this is another way good way like here if you uh, because i wanted to give you guys the example of uh, like writing the css selector with respect to parent so that's why i showed you if you could have used this one immediately you can get it so we have seen the example of writing css selector with respect to parent in the next lecture uh, we will see how we can write uh, like different axes like adjacent child immediate uh, child etc that we will see in the next lecture thank you